Hey guys, it's Mike from Figs, and I just wanted to come back to this mini series of Life with Mark Forged. Um, we've had our Mark II for over a year now, and the experience was a little rough at first with some uh, print quality issues, controller issues, that kind of thing. Um, I did have to rebuild it uh, in terms of the cable and the beagle bone, which is the main LCD controller at one point, but after a year, we've really been finding a lot of utility with it. Uh, the print quality has been excellent. The number of failures has reduced really almost to zero. I haven't had a whole lot of issues as long as I've abided by the uh, nylon hydrophilicy uh, issues and the moisture absorption. So as we roll to this uh, two year anniversary, uh, We've been finding so many uses for it, and we see such potential that we got a big surprise and made a big decision towards the end of the year. A rough week with the back thrown out, so I've just been laying down and haven't been able to see what got delivered. So for those of you that don't know, the Mark Forged X7 is their industrial printer. It does feature things like a higher Z resolution of 50 microns instead of 100. And it also has the benefit of a laser, uh, it's basically a laser range finder that's integrated, which allows it to do some bed compensation. And it also allows it to, I think, hold tolerance over larger prints. We have some big plans for this thing. I hope it works out. It is a big risk, it's a big investment, and I'm here to give you guys the, the up and up on what it's like to actually own one of these printers. X7 has a built-in Pelican case. I'm going to do the base first. And this is how you access it. I hope you would subscribe and like these videos and give us a little bit of support and feedback on what you want to see from these videos. If you're a potential customer, what you're looking for, we'd be happy to answer questions. Thanks for watching.